scaffolds are a promising solution for the replacement, reconstruction or regeneration of tendons and ligaments following tears and other injuries. Every year there are approximately 30 million cases of tendon and ligament injuries. Current technologies to treat them have various limitations, including the high risk of rejection and mechanical mismatch between the rigid implanted devices and the biological tissue structures. The scaffold patented by the University of Bologna is able to accurately reproduce the mechanical, morphological and physiological characteristics of the tendon and ligament tissue. It is therefore able to minimize the risk of inflammation and therefore rejection. Furthermore, the size and structure of the scaffold can be easily adapted and tuned to any type and size of injury and can be completely customized to the patient. With regard to the regeneration of tendons and ligaments, its operation is comparable to other temporary scaffolds. The structure of the three-dimensional device is assembled by electrospinning in order to mimic the composition of the tissues at all levels of therapy, similar to a plant, from the single fibrils to the fascicles to the membranes covering them. The natural cells are able to use these scaffolds as a support to organize themselves neatly in order to heal the injured tissue. The scaffold manufacturing process is highly flexible and can be easily adapted to meet different needs. If applied in clinical or veterinary orthopedic surgery, this concept can be either used to deliver support for the regeneration of injured tissue if produced with bioresorbable materials or as permanent implantable prosthesis created from inert materials. These devices also find application in the field of robotics as sensors and actuators for the production of synthetic tendons, ligaments, muscles and nerves, as well as in the educational field. The scaffold could be used as a model of musculoskeletal tissue and for in vitro testing of new surgical techniques or devices. The patent, filed in 2017, is granted in Italy and now extended in several countries. The technology has been validated on an in vitro laboratory scale and preliminary surgical feasibility tests have been completed.